What's good? I'm Jack and I'm back in the review dojo and this time I'll be reviewing the Dawson model Kurama from Yu Yu Hakusho. Now, I really love the Dawson Yusuke figure and like I said in that review, if you're going for the Yusuke, I mean Yu Yu Hakusho characters, I would like you should go for the Dawson because the Dawson figures look way better than the one shot toys yusuke is the only one you should get from one one shot toys but if you want yusuke and everybody else you should go for dyson now i got this figure a little like i, I pre-ordered this and he ate at the same time you know he ate hasn't we haven't even seen the final product pictures of he ate yet but I'm really looking forward to see what that figure actually looks like. Hopefully we get pictures of that soon. But he showed up and I was really looking forward to it. I mean, even though Karama is really not one of my favorite Yu Yu Hakusho characters. I mean, he's a cool, he's a cool character. I mean, I, I really only like Karama when he transforms into Yoko Karama. And... Honestly, I don't really enjoy any of Karama's fights because, you know, he's a really, like, tactical and elegant type of fighter. And I like, I really like Yusuke and Hiei because, well, those are my two favorite characters in the show. You know, they, they really, like, they're more hand-to-hand -hand combat type characters. And also, I forget to mention, I, I'm really excited to see what the cool bar looks like because the one shot cool bar, well, all, every other character besides Yusuke in the one shot, like I said, looks bad, but I don't need to keep repeating myself on that point. But yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm really excited to have this figure. Like, I'm really looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Him and the rest of Team Urameshi and what up, whoever else Dyson decides to make from Yu Yu Hakusho. Now we move into the appearance and aesthetics of this figure, and I gotta say, this figure looks like like looks exactly like Karama. Like, he has perfect body proportions because Karama is a tall and you know very lanky looking character. I mean that's basically the art style of Yu Hakusho but like he really looks like Karama. Like he really looks like Karama. Now this figure came with a lot of accessories, I mean a lot. Like he came with five faces and five pairs of hands, a pink rose, a red rose, his rose whip, and a school bag. Like basically like the same amount of accessories that came with the use case. Like, like Dyson really did not skip out on the amount of accessories that came with this guy. All right, these are the fist hands that came on him right out of the packaging. All right, these are more open, relaxed finger hands. But I've noticed that on these hands, there's like a like something that looks like a cut between the thumb and the index finger. I don't know if it's being picked up well enough on camera, but yeah, both of these hands have that on them. Yeah, more open you know open grip clawing type hands i don't know the exact what, what exact type of hands to call these but i call it that you know just another pair of anime hands a pair of hands to hold the roses and him actually holding the roses i have him holding the pink rose through his index and middle finger and i have him holding the red rose through his index finger and thumb also, mind you, these roses are very, very small. Like, you could easily lose them. That's why I'm probably never gonna use them. 
a pair of gripping hands in order for him to be able to hold his school book bag and his rose whip. All right, him actually holding the book bag, it took some effort to get the book bag in his hands. Even though the hands are made out of soft plastic, it, like, it's gonna take some effort to get them in there. And him holding the rose whip. Now the rose whip is just like one long piece of like rubbery plastic. It doesn't bend. I mean, you can bend it. You can probably heat it up and cool it down to get a, a certain type of shape, but I don't think it's not gonna hold any type of shape at all. It's just gonna, you know, remain straight. Like, as you can see, it's like, no matter how much I move it, it doesn't retain the shape. It just goes back to the straight line. So, yeah, I actually thought this was gonna have bendy wire in it, but it doesn't. It would've, it would've, like, it, it should've had bendy wire in it. Excuse me for the price you pay for it, but I guess they couldn't do that, so. I mean, it's still a nice accessory overall and a pair of relaxed open grip type of hands. All right, out of the packaging, he comes with this smiling neutral face. Also, in order to switch out the face, you have to separate the hair from the head. Like, you can see it's split just like that. And it's split just like that. I mean, it's the same with the Yusuke too. A face with him with his eyes closed. A yelling face. A face with him looking to one side. And a face of him looking off to the other side. Now he does come, he comes with the same exact stand as Yusuke, so I don't feel the need to put that in the video. Now his articulation is exactly the same as Yusuke because they use the exact same type of body. He's just a little taller than Yusuke. You'll see that when I get to the size comparison. But he can look, well, he can't look up that much because the hair hinders him. He can look down that much. His hair can get a lot of pivot, and a lot of movement from that. His head and neck joint are like two separate joints, so. It gets a lot of movement. His arms can go up that much. Uh, he can bend forward that much. Bend back that much. There's a waist swivel. Well, because of the pants hindering him, he can kick up that much. His double jointed knees. Ankle pivot and rotation and no toe hinge. Oh, I always forget to do the elbow, but the arms can go up that much. Got that butterfly joint and double jointed knees, and the wrists are on the ball, ball pig hinge. So, yeah, his articulation is the exact same as Yusuke. I mean, it's not bad, it's just the cloth outfit hinders him in a lot of ways that's why i'm hoping we get like a dark tournament outfit because i feel like it'll be less restricting than this school uniform now we move on to his height he stands at about mm, about six and a half inches like to the top of his hair He's, at about six and a half inches because I mean Dawson figures are more seven inch than six inch scale so and that's pretty accurate I mean, Rama is a pretty tall tall character All right, now we can get into some size comparisons. All right, here he is next to the one-shot Yusuke and the Dawson Yusuke. Here they are next to the NECA movie turtles, Raphael and Donatello. 
Here he is next to the SH Figure Arts Megumi Fushiguro from Jujutsu Kaisen and a Marvel Legends Age of Apocalypse Iceman and Shadow Cat. And I almost forgot the Dyson Garo and Genos from One Punch Man and Ichigo from Bleach. All right, overall, it's a it's a really good, excellent figure. Like, like I said in the Yusuke review, I don't really like figures with cloth on them, but Yu Yu Hakusho is my favorite anime, so I'm probably gonna collect almost. I'm gonna collect as many of them as I can. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna get the main for Yusuke Hie Kuwabara. I already have Karama. Well, I already have Yusuke and Karama, so I'm just waiting on he and Kuwabara. And whoever else they decide to release after this now. I keep saying don't get the one-shot toys version of these characters, of the side characters, but I just realized in the review of Yusuke, I realized that Dawson has the better head sculpts while one-shot toys have the better body, so... Maybe you should get both the Dyson and the One Shot Toys and then come use both of those to create the perfect Yu Yu Hakusho figures. I think that's what's gonna work the best. Like having both of mine. But I really like I said, I'm glad to have this figure. I can't wait. I have PA pre ordered. And I can't wait to be able to pre-order Core Bar. Hopefully we get more characters like Jin and Sensui and Yomi, Ryzen, and many others. And yeah. Anywho, I want to get glory and honor to God for all that he's done for me. I want to say thank you to everyone who watched this video all the way through. Thank you to all my recent subscribers. I really appreciate it. And with that being said, it's been real.